Hey crafty friends, Jen Cassell here. I'm back with uh, this month's release for Scrap Diva Designs. Her June release is so stinking cute. So here's her website and all of her socials here. Make sure you use that hashtag Scrap Diva Designs. So much inspiration. All the design team uses it as well as the people that are just buying her dyes. Super fun. Uh, you can use my coupon code GEN10 for 10% off your purchase and I will link everything in the description box. So moving along, we have some really fun releases this month. Uh, I'm going to save the toast and uh, toaster for a little bit because I actually did a project on that that I'm going to share with you in just a moment. But first I wanted to cover some of these flowers that she has this month. So uh, this is the foam flower set. Really, really like this. And I did do a few of the flowers, so I'm going to pull this a little closer. I mean, tell me this doesn't look like a little bit of folk art right here. I love it. So many cute flowers. So even it's even though it's called the foam flower, I ended up doing it with some paper. And this is what they look like. This is the smallest and the middle size along with the small leaves. Super cute. And I did them in a whole bunch of colors. This is just singularly with a little foam ball in the center. Now you can also do little roses with this, which love how that turned out, super cute. Um, and then I also did, here's another really cute one. This is uh, three layered, so you get four of each size, the small, medium, large, and then you also get three of the small leaves and three of the larger leaves. And there, this is gonna be a fun, versatile die. I really, really like this. I mean, these flowers are absolutely adorable. Now, she also released, this is the Flower Pot gift card set. I haven't made the gift card itself, but um, the Sakura flowers were my favorite die in last month's release. Um, imagine my surprise when I open this and I see the larger version of it. Super, super cute. So I really wanted to use all of these leaf and flora dies because... Those are my favorite of her dyes. Her, she has some really, really good florals. So I did all, I mean, look at that. Look at how cute it is. Okay, so this is, let me see, this dye right here. So I did this one here. And then the Sakura flower right here. Super fun. And that one I did with this as well. Some cute stamens to add to it. Now, my go-to when I'm doing flowers is a flower mold. Um, this is made with the flower mold. And this is just hand molded. So you can kind of see the difference. Look at how much dimension goes into that. Super, super fun. So that's my go-to. You can see I did it with this one as well. And then look at these flower or the leaves that are all part of it. Lots of fun. And then let me see. Oh, this one was really cool. This is once again, the same dye here. I did this and this I added, this is one of the stars from the star bow dye. And then I cut it out twice and put it as the flower center. Super cute. I love how this turned out. Uh, let me see what else. Oh, we have, this is the smaller one right here. Super cute. This one I ran through the mold. Lots of dimension. So yeah, um, love, love, love the flowers. And I've seen some design team members already create with this. And it's it's a super cute die. I'll definitely be using this really soon. So moving along, uh, card stand die. And I did do this. So here's the card stand die cut out. Um, this, I did the heart overlay on it. And then if you flip it over this one, I just kept it plain on this side. And then I also added a foam layer to it. I just kind of wanted to see how it would, you know, help with sturdiness essentially. So this was really cool. And I've been 
really, really looking for an easel die because I do a lot of memory decks cards. This is the perf perfect size for memory decks as well. So we also have a whole bunch of baby release, uh, releases. There's three different of the baby words. So this one here is joy, love, uh, precious, sweet, bundle of joy, and oh baby. And then we have shower, girl, boy, bottle, baby, and welcome. So cute. And then we have twins, adoption, little one, Wild. grandchild, and new arrival. We also have this doily's tag set. It's a shaker die. Lots of fun. I can't wait to play with this. And then we have the girl dress. Oh my gosh, look at how cute this is. This is gonna be so fun. A girlfriend of mine just found out she's pregnant, so I will definitely be using this very soon. Now, to the showstopper. This was my favorite dyes. Well, these are my favorite dyes, with the exception of the flowers. You know how much I love my flowers. But these dyes, when I saw them, I was so excited to play. And I can't wait to show you what I created with it. So here's my card. I love, love, love it. And this is a pop-up card just popping by to say hello. The toast come out of it. This was my first time doing a pull tab card like this, and it was a lot of fun kind of figuring out how I was gonna do it. So you'll see that I used the toast die, which you can see here, it comes with toast and an egg and the spoon and knife, or the fork and knife, which I did not use, but um, you can see that I cut the toast out, and the toast is a three layer die. And then you have the fried egg here. I did the hello on my Cricut. Of course, here's that cute little toaster in the background. Now the toaster die comes with a couple different components too. So I use this one to cut out it in, I use the holographic silver to cut this. And then I also cut the handles in the holographic silver. The heart I did at the top for the pull tab portion. And then if you flip it over, this is where I used the, this uh, Aruba. This is a uh, basil Aruba paper. So, and then I added a whole bunch of distressing to it. The hello, I just cut out all in white. And then I added, um, the same inks that I used for the background. My favorite pink, the Kitsch Flamingo, and then I also did a picked raspberry for the hot pink portion. And of course, I did um, some ink blending on the back here. This too is another release from Scrap Diva Designs. Heart plate dies. And I love how that turned out because not only do you get the heart, but you also have this really cute uh, stitched finished in the background. To do the pull tab portion right here, I used this die. This is a Scrap Diva die from the file folder die. Uh, really, really cute. And then I, of course, just added the heart at the top. And this just popping by, I did on my Cricut as well. I don't stamp as much as I used to because I really just stamped um, sentiments most of the time for my cards. Now I just usually have my Cricut do it for me. So this is fun. I really, really like this. And then I have the back blank for now, but I'm actually just going to put some, a white backer on here so you can write whatever you want on the card. But I love how this turned out. I will be making uh, more of these. I know I will. I loved it. Um, if you want to see a tutorial on how I do it, let me know in the comments section. Thank you for watching. Um, head on over to Scrap Diva Designs. Don't forget to use my coupon code GEN10 for 10 10% off your purchase. I will link everything in the description box. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more crafty content. I'll see you in the next crafty video. Bye!